the left and the media are in bed together. Absolutely. CNN, the mainstream media, you go to Yahoo and look up an article. Out of 20 articles about Trump, 19 and a half of them are negative, okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, literally, you, you, every one of them are negative. Because he's but just doing a poor job, though. Wait. He's, just wait, do, he's doing wait, a poor job. Wait. Just wait. Let he's me finish. He's doing a poor job. L- let me finish. He, that, I mean... If you're the president of the free world, the powerful, most powerful man, that's, that's and, and you're not doing, my point. And you're that's doing a bad point. job, that's not you're going to get criticized. That's not my point. I said, give me a little leeway here because it's going to take a little while to get where I'm going. <laughs> okay. okay. All okay. right. The whole point of this is, is that the left and the Democrats both have the same agenda. In the, the media or the media and the Democrats both have the same agenda. Mm-hmm. You watch the mainstream news. They're ripping this guy every chance they get. Their hardball questions for Joe Biden and Obama are like, What's this journey been like, Joe? What's this journey been like, Obama, uh, Barack? I mean, isn't it just uh, momentous? They're like, they're like, I mean, they're basically like, can we spoon, you know? They're literally. I mean, they're just like, I love you so much. I mean, there's no hardball questions or anything, right? Mm-hmm. So the whole point is, is the left and the Democrat, the, the, the media and the Democrats are both, they, they have the same agenda, right? They do. Absolutely, they do. I, I'm just going to take your word for it. I don't know. Okay. When you watch the news, their their talking points are the same talking points as Joe Biden and all the other Democrats. Okay, all mm-hmm. right. So my point is, is with all of this stuff going on, you've got all of these things that are skewed. Okay, the left has to have wants to have a class of people who see themselves as a victim to support them. Okay, so what they do is they're like, look at these evil Republicans over here. They're all racist. They're all a bunch of you know evil people. You know, and they're just terrible and everything that all this stuff right and what they do is it's community organizing it's what barack obama the only thing he did before he got into politics was a community organizer you know what a community organizer is Mm -hmm. he's a rabble rouser okay he basically goes and tells someone hey you know what it's not fair that your life sucks it's not fair that this happens it's not fair that this it's not fair that that you need me to fight for you against these people who are oppressing you the democrats want a victim class okay they do That's part of why they love the welfare system so much. Because like we said, the welfare system has enslaved a lot of African Americans, has caught them up into a perpetual cycle of living with government assistance. But not not just African Americans. No, I know. White people too. Okay. But when I'm talk but when I talk when you talk about a percentage of the demographic, okay, there's more white people on welfare than there are black people. That's Mm -hmm. true. There's also a lot more white people in the country. The percentage of white people as a demographic compared to the percentage of black people as a demographic, the black, the African-American community has a much higher percentage of their demographic on public assistance. You know why? Because they want them to be, they want them to depend on the government for their sustenance so they can control that vote. No. Yeah, that's exactly why. That's not why. Then why is it? Because black people have been systematically pushed out of the 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 wealth gap. I mean, not the wealth gap. They've been systematically pushed out of the economic the economy. So you can't so you can't flourish. You you can't you can't you can't even buy a house. You can't even you can't buy a house. I'm saying with, when it comes to redlining, what they did with redlining, like wealth is is transferable, right? So if if I don't have any money to buy a house. What am I passing down to my my kids? What am I? What is my grandkids passing down? So, of course, a lot more black people will be on the welfare system if we're being pushed out of being able to being able to be a part of this economy. You know, Dante, that might be a small fraction of it, but I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you, I, I, I I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet you, ninety percent of the people who are on welfare is because of some kind of systematic thing that was put in place where they couldn't they couldn't enjoy the fruits of what this whole United States was built off of, of capitalism. So you I, think, guar- I guarantee you 90% of people on welfare, so, that's the reason why. So you think that the people who are, and like I said, I don't have a problem with welfare at all. It's just mm-hmm. when it's being abused. When people are, because we had this discussion before. Yeah. You, you knew someone yeah. that was the same thing. Yeah. You know? Like I said, the welfare system has basically taken the black family and has destroyed it.